bullet. Hey guys, so I just saw Atomic Blonde. This movie is directed by David Leach, who was also one of the directors of John Wick, and I really liked John Wick, so I was naturally excited for this movie. It stars Charlize Theron as basically the female version of John Wick. She's really good in this movie. And it takes place in Berlin. And basically everybody is looking for something called The List, which is like a watch, and Charlize's character Lorraine has to investigate the murder of a fellow agent while also trying to get this list and she ends up teaming up with James McAvoy who plays David Percival and she's and he's basically her top contact so they meet up and they go on this big adventure together and it's sort of a, a combination of a lot of things spy action a bunch of different things I found myself enjoying this movie quite a bit first of all I really bought Charlize Theron as this hardcore badass and I really liked her character from the beginning to end and James McAvoy was and James McAvoy had a lot of importance in this movie and I thought his character was pretty great too another standout in this movie was Sofia Botello she had some importance in this movie too and her character had some things to do I thought she was a good addition to the movie as well now there's a lot of things that went right with Atomic Blonde and I really liked it for the most part, but I have to say that there's a lot going on in this movie, and a lot of things happen, and it kind of makes the movie a bit confusing at times, and there are some, and there were unfortunately some moments where I didn't understand exactly what was going on, because there was, there are things you really have to pay attention to in this movie. It's not like John Wick where it was just a simple story, something John Wick really valued was taken from it, and then the action movie takes place from there. But Atomic Blonde is a very complex movie, and it starts off like on the eve of the fall of the Berlin Wall, and there are many different things in this movie that they added to really show the story, and sometimes it worked well, and sometimes it was confusing, and that was basically my only issue with this movie, but everything else I thought was really great. The action in this movie is awesome. I mean, every time there was an action scene, I was locked into the movie. And I really enjoyed myself. All the acting was great in this movie. Like, there wasn't any one person who I thought was, like, miscast or they shouldn't have been in the movie or they, they weren't really too necessary. I honestly thought that everyone did a good job in this movie. Overall, the performances were really well done. So overall, Atomic Blonde was a very enjoyable experience for me. When too much is going on, it can get a bit confusing at times, but I really enjoyed myself watching the movie. The action was great, the acting was great, the storytelling, although it wasn't always clear, I still found myself pretty immersed in this movie uh, for the majority of it. Atomic Blonde is great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And as always, have a great summer. Have a great day. Peace out.